Hey friends, welcome into Cross My Heart Ministry. Laura McFarland here, the founder and director of Cross My Heart. If you know our channel, you know that we're all about the Word of God. So I'm holding my Bible here today, coming with a challenge for yet another month, and that is to present to you our Write the Word bookmark for the month of April. And so that word is the word work. And so the way this works, if you're new to our channel or you're new to the Write the Word bookmark is we give you one word for each month, and then we provide one verse for each day of the month that includes that specific word. And so what our suggestion is, is that you look at that verse in the Bible, get a journal, and write it out. You see, my thinking is that even folks that tend to read the Word of God, perhaps read it so quickly, or they're, they're doing a Bible reading plan, and I love those. I'm, I'm doing a read the Bible through in a year plan again in a different translation this year. But in the midst of so much reading, if we're just plowing through it to sort of get it done, close our Bible and move on, and we don't stop to just really meditate on a, a particular passage or just one verse even within that passage, it's easy to let it just be over us. It's easy to allow our, our time with the Lord, our time in his word, just to be another box to check and move on to the next thing. So my challenge to you and why I believe writing the word is so valuable is because it does just that. It slows us down. And as we write those words, we sort of process them or digest them. We think about them. We meditate on them. And so as you write the word, you can sort of lean in to that one verse and take it to heart. Think about each word or, or a specific phrase within that verse as you write it. Pray it back to God and in your journal, perhaps you'll write out some thoughts about what that verse means or what the Holy Spirit is revealing to you as you process that verse. But writing it out is what helps us to remember. And I'm a gal that likes to write things down. I find that even if I forget my grocery list when I get to the grocery store, just the process of writing a list seems to help me remember it. I'm that gal that if I'm at a, even a banquet or something with my husband and there's a guest speaker, I'm, I'm digging through my purse to find a receipt I can stretch out to write out something that that speaker said because there's something about writing it that helps me retain it. Even if I, I never go back and look at what I wrote again, just the process of writing is very helpful. And I think there's actually some psychology and some studies that would have been done to back that up as they study the, the habits of, of students and how they learn and retain information. But trust me on this. I want to challenge you if you've not completed the Write the Word challenge with us. Let April be the time that you do that. And for, for this particular month, as we begin with the word work, it's, it's a great season to jump into the word work. Uh, the very first verse is in Genesis 2.15, where it talks about God putting man and woman in the garden and told them to work it and to take care of it. And it might be interesting for you to realize that work preceded the fall of man. We didn't mess things up until chapter three, but God gave Adam and Eve work to do even in chapter two. And so I think that's a remarkable truth for us to grasp and take hold of, that work is not a bad thing in our lives. Work is not a negative. Now, after the fall, work came with toil and sweat of our brow and pain, and there were thorns and thistles in the ground and part of the consequence of the fall. But work in itself can bring a great deal of satisfaction. It, it helps us be good stewards of what God has given to us. Work is healthy for us. It's, it's good to work. And we as mothers rob our children of some self-respect and, and, and good training if we don't make sure that they have work to do. And so that's another reason why we kind of have a combo for you today. I'm introducing our two free downloads in one video, the Write the Word bookmark on work, but also our monthly do it list. And this one, we have two versions of this and the links to both will be below in the show notes. What is pre-populated with some daily work assignments for you? Should you choose to use this as a way to help you get your home in order or get it neat and tidy? We, if you're familiar with this or if you're not, we have daily, weekly, and monthly tasks. And this was just sort of birth from my years of trying to figure out how to get it all together and get my home organized and keep things 
going and rocking and rolling with raising four children. And about the time I figured it out, they were all grown and out the door. So I decided to formulate this as a means to pass on what I learned and maybe let you benefit from what I figured out on my own. But we always, these two always, Beth does a great job making sure that they are sort of coordinated with the graphics that match both the, the write the word bookmark and the do it list. I like to sort of call this the Mary sitting at the feet of Jesus and then the Martha getting the work done and being a good steward of what God has given us to do. But we always choose one verse to sort of feature here as well. And the one for this month comes from the book of Proverbs. All hard work brings a profit, but mere talk leads only to poverty. I, I think I heard a Chinese proverb once that says, talk don't cook the rice. So mere talk leads to poverty. And so as we train our children up, as we ourselves lean into a good work ethic, it helps us be successful in life. It helps us to be responsible citizens and, and good workers, to earn a, a working wage, to take care of our families. I, I made a chore chart for my children as I was raising them, and almost every chore chart began with another verse that's on our Write the Word bookmark, and that is Colossians 3, 23. Whatever you do, work at it with all your heart. It's working for the Lord and not for man. If I can just take a moment and speak specifically to the mommies, you know, every child is not going to be a gifted athlete or musician or an Einstein. They're, they all come into this world with a variety of, of IQs and skill set and natural affinities for, for different things. And so we can't just push them into the mold that we want them to be. And I'm sure many of us have sat at many of a baseball game or basketball game or soccer game or whatever, hearing a, a parent pushing a child to be more than that child perhaps has the capability to be. And, and you sort of sometimes get the sense that maybe that parent is trying to live out an unfulfilled dream through the life of that child. And it's, it's not just in, in the world of athletics, it can be in, in any dimension. But as we pray for our children and encourage them in the areas that they are drawn to, in the areas of their giftedness, I think there is one thing that we as parents can do regardless of what our child's IQ is, regardless of their musical talent or athletic talent or anything else, regardless of how successful they can be with their intellect or with, with anything else, we as parents can make sure that they leave home with a strong work ethic. And that will be on us. We model that for them and we teach and train them to be to have a strong work ethic. I feel like that's one thing that I inherited from my parents. I didn't inherit it from them. They modeled it for me. They taught it to me. I grew up in a blue collar family in West Virginia, definitely lower to middle, lower to middle class, I would, I would say, but we always had everything that we needed. And my parents raised all me and my three siblings, all of us to work hard. And I've really endeavored to do that with my children as well, to raise them up, to be responsible human beings, to be able to manage themselves and their time and to work hard. There are a lot of things that I would do differently if I could start over, but I do feel like that's one thing that Kevin and I did is raise our children to work hard. And as we are now adult men and women ourselves, as you are a woman of God watching this video, as you lean into having a good work ethic, of course, we know now that it's not just the physical labor we do that gets us a paycheck or, or make sure our home is neat and tidy, but the work that we do is also work that we do for the Lord. And as we come into a relationship with him, I believe there is work that he has for us to do. I hope that you will find our do it list to be a helpful resource for you this month. I also hope that you will download a copy of our Write the Word bookmark. And as you write these verses and particularly pray them back to God, meditate on them, think upon them, that you will consider what a strong work ethic can do for you and your family, not just physically, but also spiritually. What is the work that God has for you to do? And how are you doing the work just to manage the home and the resources that he has given you? Are you a good steward of all those things that God has provided for you? I want to thank you for spending part of your day with us for Cross My Heart Ministry. I'm Laura McFarland.